Hello viewers. Thank you for watching my video. I believe in phrase knowledge is divine. Purpose of my video is to share knowledge that I have learned till date. I have been creating tutorials on Wi-Fi for over an year. Today I will be presenting to you with the dot eleven ag eleven and aggregation mechanisms. Today's presentation includes aggregation types and its requirement, how to understand the type of aggregation used based on packets, theoretical performance variance between aggregation types. Aggregation is a new mechanism supported by Wi-Fi standards to enhance throughput. It is a process of joining multiple packets together into a single transmission unit which reduces overhead and increases actual throughput. Physical level data rate improvements do not increase user level throughput beyond a point because of dot level protocol overheads like the contention process, interframe spacing, physical level headers and acknowledgement frames. The main media access control feature that provides a performance imp improvement is aggregation. Hence there are two types of frame aggregation mechanisms supported by dot level standard. One is the AMC, AMSTU and the other is the AMPDU. MSDU aggregation. Theoretically, MSDU aggregation allows frames for many destinations to be collected into a single aggregated frame for transmission. Practically, however, MSDU aggregation collects Ethernet frames for, for a common destination wraps the collection in a single dot eleven frame and then transmits the dot eleven wrapped collection of ethernet frames and AMPD aggregation AMPD aggregation is slightly different from MSD aggregation instead of collecting ethernet frames MPD aggregation translates each ethernet frame to dot eleven format and then collects the dot eleven frame frames for a common destination the collection does not require a wrapping of another dot eleven frame since the collected frames already begin with a dot eleven MAC header. MSGU aggregation is the more efficient of the two aggregation methods. It relies on the fact that an access point receives frames from its Ethernet interface to be translated to dot eleven frames and then transmit to a mobile client. Similarly, most mobile client protocol stacks create an Ethernet frame which the dot eleven driver must translate to an dot eleven frame before transmission. In both these cases, the native format of the frame is Ethernet and is then translated to dot eleven format for transmission. For a mobile device, the aggregated frame is sent to the access point where the constituent Ethernet frames are forwarded to their ultimate destinations. For an access point, all of the constituent frames in the aggregated frame must be destined to a single mobile client. Since there is only a single destination in each mobile client, with MSDU aggregation, the entire aggregated frame is encrypted once using the security association of the destination of the outer dot level frame wrapper. The restriction of the MSDU aggregation is that all of the constituent frames must be of the same quality of service level. It is not permitted to mix voice, voice frames with the best efforts frames. Here are some of the facts related to AMSDU implementation. AMSDU shall contain only MSDUs whose destination address is unique and AMSD shall be carried without fragmentation. The channel access rules for, the, for a cost data MPDU carrying an AMSDU is same as the da data MPDU carrying a MSDU of same TID. The expiration of AMSDU lifetime occurs only when the lifetime of a, all the constant MSDUs of the AMSDU have expired. MPDU aggregation does require that all the dot eleven frames that constitu constitute the aggregated frame have the same destination address. However, this result is in the same behavior as MSDU aggregation. 
since the destination of all frames sent by a mobile client is their client's, client's access point where the dot .11 frames are translated to the Ethernet and forwarded to the ultimate destination. Similarly, the destination of any frame sent by the access point is a single mobile client. With MPDU aggregation, it is possible to encrypt each constituent frame independently using the security association for each individual dot .11 destination address. This does not have any effective difference from the encryption done in MSGA ag aggregation. As all frames sent by a mobile client are encrypted using the security association for the access point and all frames sent by the access point are encrypted using the security association for a single mobile client that is the intended recipient of, recipient of the frame. Similar, similarly to MSGO aggregation, MPDO aggregation requires that all of the constraint frames be of the same cost level. The efficiency of the MPDO aggregation method is lower than that of the MSGO aggregation method because of the extra overhead of the individual dot level frame headers for each constituent frame. The efficiency is fur further reduced when the encryption, encryption is used. Encryption adds overhead to each of the constituent frame in MPDU aggregation, where MSDU aggregation incurs overhead for a single encryption of the outer dot level wrapper. Facts of AMPDU are as follows. The purpose of MPDU delimiter is to robustly de delimit the MPDUs within the aggregate. Robust in this case means that the structure of the aggregate can usually be recovered when one or more MPDU delimiters are received with errors. Individual delimiters have the same BER as the surrounding MPDUs and so can be lost. The duration fields in the MAC header of all MPDUs in an aggregate carry the same value. A delimiter with MPDU length 0 is valid. This can be used to introduce padding between MPDUs to satisfy the MPDU density limit requirement or at the end of the AMPDU. The MPDU limiter is delimiter is 4 octets in length and contains the fields defined below. It is important to know how your station identifies the type of aggregation mechanism supported by access point. Figure below sh contains text selected with red box under HT capability information. This bit or this byte helps in determining the AMSDU, AMSDU support with maximum packet size. Similarly, it is important to know how the station identifies the type of aggregation mechanisms supported by access point. Figure below contains text selected in red box under HT capability information element. This byte helps in determining the AMPDU support and its respective parameters such as max AMPDU length and minimum space between AMPDU packets. For the dot .11 MAC protocol to operate reliably, each of the frames transmitted an individual address that is not multicast or broadcast frames is immediately acknowledged by the recipient. MSD aggregation requires no changes to this operation. The aggregated frame is acknowledged just as any dot level frame is acknowledged. This is not the case for MPD aggregation. For MPD aggregation, each of the individual constituent dot level frames must be acknowledged. This mechanism is to deal with this requirement that dot level n introduces is called block acknowledgement. Block acknowledgement complies all the acknowledgements of the individual constituent frames produced by MPDU aggregation into a single frame returned by the recipient to the sender. This allows a compact and rapid mechanism to implement selective transmission, retransmission of only those constituent frames that are not acknowledged. In environments with high error rates, this selective retransmission mechanism can provide some improvement in the effective throughput of a double line using MPDU aggregation over that of, a, of one using MSDU aggregation because much less is retransmitted when an error affects some of the constraint frames of an MPDU aggregated frame as compared to an MSDU aggregated frame. 
In order to understand the performance value of aggregation mechanisms, I have calculated theoretical per throughput of AMSU over AMPDU for multiple MCS types and packet sizes. Finally, it is found that AMSU is slightly more efficient than AMPDU as stated earlier, that is by 1.4%. I have tried to put all basic information of aggregation into this presentation. Please let me know if I have missed any information. For any queries, please email me. Thank you for viewing this video and motivating me to donate the presentations. Thank you.